Hi, you are welcome and I'm glad to see you again. When you load data into XPSS from Excel spreadsheet that consists of nominal variables, there is likelihood that the variables will be imported as string type. And when you attempt to change the string to numeric directly, you will end up losing your data. If this has been your challenge, then you will have it no more after you have seen this video. Because in this video, I will be demonstrating how to convert string variable to numeric variable in XPSS without losing data. So I hereby encourage you to watch the demonstrations in this video to the end. My name is Tito Ken and this is Tito Ken Mark Solutions, a YouTube channel for improving the knowledge of how to do things. This is our set of data in Excel spreadsheets. This data consists of nominal variables and it describes the acceptance of a commodity based on gender, marital status, and academic qualifications. Now, let's load this data into XPSS. Now the data has been loaded. Click the variable view button to go to the variable view window. As you can see under the type column here, all the variables are entered as string type. Since you are expected to enter the value labels for each of the nominal variables by assigning numeric index to the class of the variable, there is need to change the string type to numeric type. Let's try to effect this change directly under this variable type column. Click on the gender cell, then click on the blue button to open the variable type dialog box. Here, click on the numeric radio button to change the variable from string to numeric, and then click OK. As you can see, the cell has changed from string to numeric. Let's repeat this process for two other variables. And when you return to the data view window, you will find that you have lost the data for those variables. That means the way we did it was not the appropriate way. Now, what is the appropriate way? How can we change the string variables to numeric variables without losing the data? Please come with me and let's do this together. The appropriate method is to transform and recode the string variables to numeric variables. And there are three different ways of doing this. One, recoding into same variables. Two, recoding into different variables. And three, by method of automatic recoding. But for this video, I will concentrate only on the method of automatic recoding. Automatic recoding is a process where the SPSS uses your command to do the coding for you without you necessarily having to manually define the value labels for the classes of nominal or ordinal variables. Now, let's go into the demonstration. Go to the menu bar and click on transform. And from the sub menu, click on automatic recoding. In the dialog box that opens, the variables containing strings are in the box on the left, and on the right, you have the numeric variables empty box. Please note that for this transformation, you cannot process more than one variable at a time. So click on gender one, and click on this transfer arrow key to move it to the box on the right. And when you have done that, the column for new name becomes active. And the gender one variable you transfer to the right will have question marks assigned at its front. The question mark is asking you what is the new name you wish to transform this gender one to. Now, let's use the name gender as the new name for gender one and write it in this box provided for new name. Immediately, this button called Add new name comes alive. Click on this button and immediately the question marks are replaced with the new name, gender, as you can see. 
The next step is to choose how to recode this transformation. So under the panel for recode starting from, you can select lowest value or highest value, depending on how you want the variable class to be labeled with numeric index. If you choose to recode from lowest value, it means since gender is female and male, and in alphabetical order, F comes before M, then one will be assigned to label female and two will be assigned to label male. But if you choose to recode from highest value, it means that one will be assigned to label male and two will be assigned to label female, since M is highest than F in the alphabetical order. But for this tutorial, I will choose to recode starting from the highest value, but you can choose as it pleases you. With these configurations, the string variable is ready to be transformed or converted to numeric variable. Now, click OK to obtain the transformation. And immediately, the way values are assigned to male and female are displayed in the output window as you can see. At the same time, the transformed variable with the new name is entered into a new column in the dataset as you can see also. If you go to the toolbar and toggle the value label tool, you will see the male and female changing to their numeric index. At this point, you can delete the gender one column from this dataset since it has been transformed. To do that, click on the column header to highlight the column. Then right click and select clear option to delete the column. Now, to transform and record the other variables, I will repeat the same process for the other string variables. Now we are done with all the transformations. Click on the variable view button to go to the variable view window. Here you will see that all the new variables are now numeric type and the value labels have been defined automatically for us here. For gender, the value label is defined as one for male, two for female. 
For marital status, one is single, two is married, and three is divorced. For qualification, one is SSCE, two is MSc, and three is BSc. For commodity, one is U for unaccepted, two is XU for strongly unaccepted, three is XA for strongly accepted, and four is A for accepted. The objective of this tutorial is to transform or convert strange variable type to numeric variable type. And as you can see, we have achieved that objective. So this is the appropriate way to change the strange variables to numeric variables without losing your data. I hope this video was useful to you because right now we have come to the end of this video. And I hope you'll be able to replicate the procedure as demonstrated in this video to transform the strange variables of your own data to numeric variable type in XPSS. If you like this video and you want to see more video content like this, please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel to encourage education and learning and so that we begin to send you notifications every time I publish new and useful content. Subscription is free. Thanks for your time and subscription, and I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye.